It's the only way to really take your frustration out and to not be. Succeed in five years. What would you, what would you do? What dream would you follow if you knew it's something that you could achieve to achieve your future self? Imagine that you have done it, living that dream. Taste it, smell it, breathe it. If you could play some more the phone, please. Mentally. So what of, the, of your dream, what would be the impact and the benefit of your dream? Imagine another dream that you've achieved in the past. Imagine how that felt to achieve that dream. Now imagine yourself five years ago and go back in time five years to meet yourself. What advice would you give yourself? If, you, if there's anything that you'd like to change in your life at the moment. And would you take that advice if you went back to meet your past self? Think about that. And could you play some more? Pause it, please. Now go forward five years and imagine yourself in five years' time. What is your future self like? Now, if that future self was to come back and talk to you yourself now in this room, what advice would you give yourself in the present? What would that advice be? And would you follow it? If you could play the rest of the film, please. George. I remember one time, I had the most, the strangest way of overcoming mental block when you're scared, effectively start slowing down. But I just kept on running, running, and I was running, and I said, well, no, I'm not gonna slow down, I'm not gonna slow down. There's a bad man with an ax behind me, and everything I've ever wanted in life on the other side of this wall. So I just keep on running. You think of your frustration and then you transfer it into action.
Now I want you to think if there was one thing that you could do to reach your potential of the dream that you want to achieve in the future, just think of what that one thing would be, what advice your future self would give you. And ask the question, would you do it? 